we, we never really got grounded, got into a flow or rhythm uh, um, throughout the entire game. And, you know, pitching sets a tone. I thought Robbie was, was doing an adequate job early. He wiggled out of some, some uh, uh, tough situations in the second inning and, and walked off the mound with a lead. And, and I feel like we, we were starting to reach that, that moment where we could start to take off a little bit. But, uh, you know, we just, we just couldn't take advantage of some situations. And, and uh, the Dodgers played catch up and eventually made, made plays, made pitches, and got big hits at the right time and, and uh, did their job. In the back there. Just to amplify on Robbie, what did you see from him? It seemed like he's having trouble throwing strikes early. Yeah, he. Um, I, I thought the fastball velocity w was exactly what we thought it would be. He was just spraying it around a little bit and just ne never found a rhythm to where he could attack with that pitch and, and work off of that with his breaking ball. I thought there were some quality breaking balls that were thrown at times, but uh, I thought a few of the pitches just lacked the consistency that we've seen from Robbie. And like I said, uh, our pitching has been so good all year long, and it's set a tone for us. It's allowed us to play downhill baseball, um, and we did. We, 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 we kind of paced ourselves a little bit early, but we just couldn't really get a, into a rhythm. Um, you know, the, 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 the Dodgers were starting to maneuver with their bullpen. We couldn't really get into a flow against any one particular pitcher, um, and it just didn't go in our favor. Uh, Tori, you guys were down 7-1 last night and 7-2 tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, but both games, you guys kind of were able to battle back. What do you mm -hmm. say about your team to not give up? You know, that's, that's one of the great characteristics of this team. Um, we're, we're, we're a smart, tough baseball team. Uh, and, and we feel like we can strike at any time offensively. Uh, we just were always looking for that moment and that edge. And, and that's what leads me to think that we're going to be OK um, getting home, kind of regrouping the troops a little bit. And, and getting ready for you know, a tough battle on Monday. I know these guys are, are going to challenge themselves. I know these guys are going to be ready for that and um, see where that lands us. I know it's difficult when you don't have the constant of the starting pitching that you've had all year long, but can you take us through just your bullpen deployment tonight, bringing Jimmy back mm -hmm. again tonight when maybe you could have brought in an Archie earlier or maybe use Patrick? Just how did you go through this tonight and how did you structure your strategy? Yeah, you know, it, some, some time when I'm sitting down before the game, I, I piece some thoughts together and, and uh, I thought we were one inning away from being able to use, use Archie. If it was a sixth inning instead of the fifth, I probably would have brought him in to, to stop that momentum. Um, but I felt like uh, Jimmy was ready for that challenge. He's been, he's been very good in, the, in that situation throughout the course of the, the back end of the year. Um, and I felt like there were some other pieces that I want to hang on to based on how their, their lineup was starting to structure itself. And, and I liked uh, David Hernandez and Andrew Chafin later in the game. So uh, that was just my mindset um, kind of walking through. It, it unfortunately didn't work out. You know, Jimmy was making some quality pitches to get to two strikes. He just didn't throw um, the pitches good enough to finish off some, some good hitters. And, and you got to give them some credit. Uh, Tori, the, the Dodgers did a lot of damage with the bottom of their lineup, mm -hmm. and they can bring in a guy like uh, Granderson. You know, Grandal was still on the uh, on the bench. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Udley, I, what kind of challenge does it present when you're facing a team with that kind of depth? Well, they grind out their at bats, um, no matter who's who's at the plate, and um, there, there's a lot of versatility that uh, that they have. They they have some good left right matchups and. They did a good job of structure, structuring this, their roster for this, for this series. So uh, present some unique challenges for, for bullpen usage. Uh, but it's more about uh, in, on both sides. You know, I know the Dodgers could probably be saying the same thing. It's more about executing, uh, more about making pitches when you're supposed to, to, to get the outs when you need to. Um, they, they just beat us to the punch tonight. Tori, uh, obviously Monday coming up, must win game. But mm -hmm. you talk about the confidence you and the, the club will have knowing that it's a game three, but you have your, your number one starting mm -hmm. door. Yeah, we've got our guy, uh, Zach Granke, going, who's been that guy for us all year long. And we, we built around him. He set, he set the pace for the entire pitching staff all year long. And I know that he loves challenges like this. Nobody prepares better. Uh, nobody is going to work to make sure that on that day, when he takes him out, that he's going to be comfortable, confident, and ready. So um, you know, if you got to pick one guy to, to stop this, this situation that we're in, I think I think we found the right guy in Zach Greinke.